Yeah, well, you know, as it turns out, the flaw is not in the evidence. The flaw is in the methodology. And it, it happens in the sciences, although they don't like to admit this. In fact, not only do they not admit this, they, they vigorously deny it. That changes of theory within the sciences are not driven in many instances by the evidence. Take, for example, the theories uh, about how it is that our galaxy is constructed. For many centuries, the belief was absolute certainty of belief that the Earth was the center of our galaxy. Now, that was completely wrong. And by the time, you know, within, within the West, the, the 15th and the 16th century, with observers like Galileo and Copernicus, working through mathematics, they said, look, this, this can't be right, that the Earth is the center of this system, that the only way that the mathematics works is if the Sun is the center of the system. And they argued this point, and they argued this point, and within the scientific community, they, re they were rejected. Their arguments were rejected. Were their arguments rejected because they didn't have evidence? Well, no, they had very compelling evidence. Their arguments were rejected because of the politics and the prejudice that often dominates science, just like politics and prejudice dominates political theory, dominates philosophy, dominates the arts, dominates any other realm of human communication and action. And so what's important for people to recognize when they're evaluating uh, theories from the scientific community, is that these theories come with prejudices. These theories are not completely neutral. These theories are not apolitical. They are very, very frequently attached to political movements, philosophical assumptions, um, politics, you know, camps of disagreement and argument that, that may go back many years or even many generations that influence how it is that those who put the theories forward hold on to that system mm -hmm. even in the face of evidence that's contrary to that. And this happens all the time within science. Science is not a wholly unbiased objective yes. process. It's just, it's just not how it works. And for scientists to say that, they're being fundamentally dishonest. So if they're going to start by saying that we're honest with the facts, start by being honest about how the scientific process and the scientific community operates, which is fair.